Hey guys, it's Jenny, and Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so this week we're doing a Valentine's Day themed week, and I thought I would do something for us single ladies, and I would do a list of 30 things that you can do when you're single on Valentine's Day. Number one, they always conveniently have a new movie coming out, something that has to do with love or being single around Valentine's Day, so you could go see that. Watch every single movie with your celebrity crush in it, or TV show. I think I'm going to do this one this year, and that is go to a concert. You could do a secret Santa, but have it Valentine's, so it's like a little secret Cupid where you each kind of swap little Valentines with your friends. Buy yourself edible arrangements. A lot of people find themselves very lonely on this holiday, so you could tell people what you like about them. Buy yourself lots and lots of chocolate. You could find something new to love if that's yoga or dance or just taking up a new passion, maybe that's painting. Have all your single friends over and have a slumber party. You could have an anti-Valentine's Day party. Put on Beyonce's single ladies and dance. You could go somewhere out of town for the day. Go have a spa day, maybe get your nails done. You could be a nice, generous person and give Valentine's to a local charity. Go out and have a photo shoot with your friends. I actually did that last year. Or you could send yourself some flowers. Go out somewhere where you're guaranteed to meet new people. That could be bowling, karaoke. If you're old enough, you can go to a bar or club. Anything where you can maybe interact with people you haven't met before. Go to the gym and get yourself in shape. You could go to a pet store and play with the puppies. You could finally make those baking recipes that are on your Pinterest boards, but you know you're probably never going to make them. You could pick up a new book. You could go shopping. That's always some nice retail therapy. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things to do. You could make a mood board of everything that inspires you. You could finally tell the person that you have a crush on that you like them. You could meet up with someone that you haven't talked to in a while or someone that you miss and just go get coffee or something with them. Or you could buy yourself a new pair of shoes. And lastly, you can enjoy your singleness because we're all in this together, so it's pretty awesome. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next Thursday.